Nikhil Reddy, working as an associate research analyst at Industry Arc. Looking forward, the agenda of the today's discussion would be the future growth roadmap for the non-destructive testing market. With special emphasis on the end user industries and their applications, followed by comparative of these end user industries with respect to the emerging economies across the globe. The webinar is divided into four segments, starting from the introduction and the NDT techniques, followed by the NDT utilization in various end user industries with respect to the applications and what are the market drivers and the constraints influencing the market growth. And eventually, I would like to make a contrast with respect to the end user industries growth in the emerging economies across the globe. Coming to the introduction, all the testing and the inspection equipment and the procedures used for the material inspection have somehow created the damage to the equipment or the particle. In order to overcome this and special emphasis to inspect or test the materials without creating the damage to them, this has paved the way for the evolution of the non-destructive testing. In the recent years, NDT have gained the traction of the various end-user industries such as aerospace and defense, construction, automotive, petrochemical, oil and gas and many other industries for the inspection and the detection of the surface irregularities, voids, cracks on the surface of the materials or the end products. The technique for the NDT equipment utilized varies based on the various parameters such as corrosion, type of material involved in the end product followed by the various other parameters. Non-destructive testing is a commonly used tool in the forensic engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. The majorly used NDT techniques include visual inspection, microscopy, radiography, dye penetrating test or the liquid penetrating and the ultrasonic test magnetic particle testing, eddy current testing and the acoustic emission. Looking in detail about the each of the NDT techniques starting from the visual inspection. Visual inspection is usually performed on all the sorts of materials ranging from pl plastics and alloys to the ferromagnetic substances. The prominent applications of the visual identification includes identification of the large cracks, missing fasteners, missing labels of code approvals, dents and some others. Microscopy examination includes the analysis on the materials at the microscopic level to identify the minute cracks or the voids which are not possible through the visual inspection. However, unsuitable for the analysis of the larger structures is the prominent limitation of the microscopy inspection. The radiographic technique has gained the prominence for the identification of the internal defects in the materials. And this radiographic technique is majorly used in the heavy duty applications of aerospace and defense industries. Radiography technique is suitable for the thin sections and suitable for the any material. Moreover, the prominent advantages of this technique include that the information is presented pictorially and as the other side of the coin, there are possibly the health hazard which is majorly restraining the market growth of this technique. Liquid penetrant inspection or the dye inspection has been used in the various fields from the recent past to identify the discontinuities or the defects open to the surface. The prominent benefit of this technique includes the surface analysis, simplicity in operation and highly suitability for the automated testing. Moreover, the prominent limitation includes this is limited to the surface testing. Ultrasonic technique is used for the detection of the internal and the external surface irregularities. The most commonly used sound frequencies varies from 1 MHz to 25 MHz depending upon the application where it is used. The magnetic particle testing includes the small magnetic particles such as iron filings and the other magnetic conducting substances to detect the flaws in the components. Eddy current testing is usually performed for the testing and the inspection of the spherical as well as the hollow components. These currents are influenced by the nature of the material and the surface irregularities such as voids, cracks and changes in the gra grain size as well as the physical distance between the coil and the material involved. Acoustic testing method is particularly effective for the continuous surveillance of load bearing structures. The major advantages include early identification of the material failure and this method is highly suitable for the testing and the inspection of containers, tanks, spherical reservoirs and so on. Looking ahead for the end user industries, NDT has gained the momentum in the end user industries such as aerospace and defense, automotive, oil and gas, power generation, construction and so on. Looking in detail about the applications of the non-destructive testing in the aerospace and automotive industry, there have been a continuous rise in the emergence of the new composite materials and the equipment used for the testing and the inspection of those composite materials.
non destructive testing has gained the prominence in the inspection of the metals metal alloys automotive and the aerospace components and so on in the recent years welded joints inspection metal and alloys testing are the prominent applications of the non destructive testing in the aerospace and the automotive industry machine failures and the rise in the industrial hazards in the oil and gas and the power generation industries have created a serious issue in the recent years increasing emphasis to meet the growing demand for the power generation and the oil and gas by reducing the machine failures with the period ins periodic inspection and the maintenance of those equipment have stimulated the adoption of the non destructive testing equipment in addition government regulations surrounding the labor safety industrial environment and the equipment utilized in the oil and gas industry moving to the next section of the webinar we will be discussing about the major drivers and the constraints which are influencing the market growth the major drivers for the market include increasing demand for the new infrastructure along with the growing need to renovate the existing infrastructure to avoid the industrial hazards have been bolstering the market growth from the recent past in addition rising investments in the oil and gas aerospace and defense and the power generation industries have been creating enough opportunities for the deployment of the non destructive testing equipment the other major driver which is promoting the market growth includes the increasing need for the automation and there is a continuous rise in the penetration of the automated robots in the end user industries the game changing driver for the ndt market includes the government regulations surrounding labor safety industrial environment and manufacturing equipment and the special emphasis to reduce the machine failure cost have been promoting the market growth the significant constraints of the non destructive testing market includes the high cost of the non destructive testing equipment and the lack of as per the recent press releases of the international labor office approximately 2.2 million people die of the work related accidents and the disease and the same organization have stated that approximately 600000 lives would be saved each year if available safety practices and the periodic maintenance of the equipment is done looking ahead with the acquisitions and the investments in the non destructive testing market there have been a significant rise in the number of the or investments in the oil and gas automotive aerospace and defense industries one of the major investment includes the ati group which is a leading aircraft manufacturer has announced a significant six figure investment for the development of the inspection and the testing capabilities looking ahead with respect to the acquisitions denham oil field services has acquired the sst ndt which is a pioneer in the non destructive testing services in bahrain intertech group one of the dominant company in the inspection product testing and certification has performed the major acquisitions to expand their services and to strengthen their footprint in the emerging economies across the globe coming to the last part of our webinar the future road map for the non destructive testing in the emerging economies on the global perspective the robust and the mature economies are generally the most attractive markets for the long term infrastructure investment as well as these occupy the major share in the ndt market there have been a continuous rise in the development of the infrastructure in the mature economies like us and uk along with the emerging economies like india china brazil singapore malaysia uae and so on are driving the demand for the market with transportation and power generation sectors are the prominent focusing areas in all these economies along with the infrastructure investments there is also a continuous rise in the investments in the power generation and the oil and gas industries according to international energy administration saudi arabia and russia have gained the leadership in oil production in 2016 where these countries have been utilizing the ndt equipment to avoid the industrial hazard hence Saudi Arabia and Russia are projected to witness the brisk growth rates in the utilization of the NDT equipment in the coming years followed by US, Iraq, Iran, Canada and UAE in terms of oil production when there have been enough opportunities for the utilization of NDT equipment and services going forward to the regional level america's region which includes US and Brazil have been focusing on the infrastructure investment in the recent years Moreover, generation of the investments in the world class infrastructure in the mid 20th century is now reaching to its useful life. In US, the cost estimates for the modernizing of the infrastructure may run as high as close to 2.3 trillion dollars or more over the next decade. In the last 5 years, high crude oil prices ensured sustained drilling for the oil sands, shale gas and tight oil in the North America, which subsequently led to the historical oil and gas production rates and 
This has resulted in the growth rate of excess 10% of the non-destructive testing inspection services market. Coming to the Euro, the private funds available for the European infrastructure development is projected to cross $1 trillion over the next decade which is projected to create ample opportunities for the utilization of non-destructive testing equipment. One of the prominent investments include the Turkey will be spending the $300 billion on the infrastructure over the next five years with major focus on power plants, railways, airports, roads and hospitals. The UK, France and Germany dominate private infrastructure investment in Europe and remain as the most preferred destinations for the infrastructure funds because of the regulatory, political and economical stability. Going forth into the APAC region, this region is projected to witness the brisk growth rate over the forecast period owing to the presence of large number of emerging economies such as China, India, Japan, South Korea, Malaysia, Singapore and many others where there have been a significant rise in the number of investments and government regulations surrounding industry environment have been promoting the utilization of non-destructive testing equipment in the recent years. Looking ahead into the country-wise analysis from the APAC region, Malaysia, Singapore and Thailand have been focusing on the infrastructure investments and the infrastructure modernization and development from the recent past owing to the increasing number of tu tourist flow from the past five years. Moreover, among these three countries, Singapore has remained as the most attractive market for the foreign infrastructure investments from the past couple of years and has dominated the infrastructure investments in 2016 in APAC region. In addition, Japan and South Korea are the other two major countries for the non-destructive testing inspection services. Because Japan being one of the leading automakers, it has been focusing on the development of new materials and the sophisticated technologies employment where Japan industries have been focusing on the deployment of non-destructive testing and inspection services for the testing and inspection of new materials and testing equipment which is newly deployed. Moreover, in the recent years, the telecommunication and the electronic component manufacturing companies have been focusing on the South Korean region to expand their production facilities and the research and development laboratories where the non-destructive testing have been gaining the popularity for the testing and inspection of new materials. Coming to the other two major countries, China and India have been focusing on the strengthening of their aerospace and defense sector which have been providing new opportunities for the non-destructive testing environment in the recent years. Along with the aerospace and defense sectors, these countries are also focusing on the industrial sector, especially the manufacturing and the processing industries where there have been a continuous rise in the utilization of the non-destructive testing services for the periodic maintenance of equipment and new development of new materials. Coming to the conclusion on the geography, we can conclude that the developed economies across North America and the Europe have been focusing on the infrastructure investments whereas the slow growing economies in the APAC region have been focusing on the infrastructure investments. Moreover, the fastest growing economies in the APAC region are focusing on the industrial and the aerospace and defense sectors. And coming to the Middle East region, all the Middle East region countries have been focusing on oil and gas investments where the region is projected to witness one of the rapid growth rates over the forecast period. The regulatory bodies involved in the non-destructive testing in industry includes American Society for the Non-Destructive Testing, American Welding Society, International Organization for Standardization, Aerospace Industry Association, Conference of Radiation Control Program Directors and many others. Coming to the conclusion, in this webinar we have discussed about the various types of NDT techniques applications and their usage in end user industries and with special focus in the geography. Thank you for watching. Please revert us back your queries and feedbacks and for further details on non-destructive testing, please visit our website.